front where it says aims real big. Hi everyone from Shawnee State Park in Pennsylvania. Beautiful weekend out here to go camping and that's exactly what I'm doing. I got the tent all set up. Ozark Trail tent. I bought that at Walmart years ago and never used it until this weekend. I think I paid like 30 something dollars for that and I even have a Coleman uh, queen size air mattress in there. I hear an animal. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> No, it sounded like a squirrel or something over there. <laughs> but anyway, we're out here camping, and it's just beautiful. We got a couple of chairs going. We have some burgers going. Anyway, it's a beautiful weekend out here. We got the grill going. Well, grill, it's a fire ring, but they also have a grate in there. You can, like, cook food. Well, let me just show you. Not too bad. We got some charcoal going. It's going to take a minute to get those burgers cooking, but it's going. If I have to, we'll even wood fire those things. <laughs> but we got burgers. We even have hot dogs for later. We got s'mores. You can't go camping without s'mores. We got firewood. Somebody left us firewood here. We bought some. For $5, you could get it right at the entrance to the campground here. But somebody left a bunch. And, you know, we're going to burn that. And whatever we don't use, we'll leave it there as well. Um, somebody left some two-by-fours. Yeah, there's like a whole tree. <laughs> Yeah, that looks like one there. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we're just cooking up some burgers, and it's just, it's heaven out here. There's a little trail right here, I just noticed. Hmm. It's nice being out here in the wilderness, away from everything. <laughs> Zoom out a little bit. We even got a picnic table here we got stuff set up for food we got the little solar lanterns that i'll be lighting up soon got our cooler with our food and drinks in there we even have this like i said this is our tent right here not a bad little tent even though it says it sleeps four people it's more comfortable for two but not bad at all and it's been very hot so not a lot of people came out to camp. We have one person up there camping. There was somebody over there. They took their boat out onto the lake. I'm sure they'll be back in a little bit. And then we don't have another neighbor until further down beyond those trees. And there's a bathroom, a shower down there, everything you could need. As a matter of fact, I'll walk up to the road and show you real quick. It's beautiful. I will have to flip those burgers here in just a moment, so... But yeah, there's the little road. It did rain a little bit earlier today, but it was so brief that we didn't even mind it. And yeah, there's a campsite there that nobody took over. And then here's ours. And the nice thing is, you know, they have these bigger sites for RVs and trailers, campers, but you can camp wherever you want as long as it's available and you want to pay the fee for that. And the tent sites were all taken up just about. And we were driving through the campground looking at all the available spaces. And, I mean, there were a lot of them for this weekend. And we came around the corner and Mary looked at it and said, that one. And I looked at it and said, yep, that one. And <laughs> this is our little home for the night. Fire's going pretty good. I think we had hamburgers off of that a few hours ago, and they were delicious. Oh, my God. They were to die for us. <laughs> They're so good. And hot dogs, too. Yes, and the hot dogs. And we've been making s'mores. Very good. I'm just relaxing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know it's probably hard to see me because it's so dark out, but it's been so nice out here this evening. We were making s'mores on this fire. And even though it wasn't supposed to rain, it decided to just a little bit, but not that bad. Just a little mist here and there. And where we're sitting, we're under all of these trees, and we've stayed dry the whole time, except for the occasional raindrop or two, but that's nothing. This has been very nice, very peaceful. And tomorrow we get to go check out the rest of the park and check out the lake and have a pretty nice day out here. I even put up one of my little solar-powered 
lanterns up on this tree here by the tent. They run on battery power and solar power, so you can recharge them by plugging them into a USB plug or outlet, or you can just let the sun charge them. And I brought a couple of them. There's another one on the picnic table by our cooler and our food. And then the good old tent, which I know is really hard to see. Let's light it up. There you go. Not a bad little tent. And it's just been really nice out here tonight. There's a light mist coming down right now, as a matter of fact. Where did it get dark? There we go. If you're coming up the road, this is what you'll see at our little campsite. The fire, the solar lanterns, the one on the tree and the one on the picnic table. And we have a third one from Family Dollar. If you remember, I did a video of the patriotic and summer goodies at Family Dollar. That's on our little Bucky's table there. So it looks like we have multiple fires, but we just have one. Alright, well, we've had fun here on Saturday evening, cooking up some food, having a nice long fire for several hours. It is now 1.30 in the morning, and I am very tired. Me too. Yeah, and uh, it's time to go to bed. So, with that said, I'm going to shut these lanterns off that we have in here, and uh, I'll see you in the a.m. Well, it's the next morning. It's a beautiful day out. Our neighbors that we had, they left early yesterday. I'm not really sure why. We have a friend up here, though. It was a nice night, though. A little cold. Yeah. Tent hung up, though. It was really nice. Got to pack it up today, though. But we have the park to explore. I still want to check out this trail here. I'm going to check out this trail here real quick and show you all. just love how far down that goes down the hill here. I mean, that really drops down there big time. But it's been nice. Already got the trunk open because we're going to start packing up here. But before we do that, I want to take a walk down this trail. So let's go ahead and do that. Lost Antler Trail. That's cool. Right in the middle of the campground. I thought it hooked that way. It looked like it did. But this goes straight on for what looks like a while. This is cool though. Beautiful out here today, too. And we have the whole park to check out, too. Very nice. I don't want to go too far because we have to pack up. We want to check out the rest of the park, but you get an idea. That goes on for a while. Way down there and just curves around that bend. That's cool. Let's go check out. Let's go to that bend anyway. Right there. We're so close to it. Oh, it splits. Get one path goes that way, the other path goes this way. I don't know which one's the main path. 
Hmm. Cool. It doesn't look like we walked very far, but we did. Got to go way back up there again. Yeah, it was nice camping here last night. It cost us thirty-two fifty to camp at the campground here, and you get the showers. The bathrooms are literally right around the bend from us. You can walk to it from where we're at. And they have campsites here. They have full hookups. They have sites with electric hookups. And, uh, yeah, it's really nice. We just, we didn't get any of that. We just got a regular one with no hookups or anything. We didn't need anything. If anything, just a charger for our phones. But we have the chargers in our car for that. So that was okay. But, yeah, this was nice. And it worked out when we rolled up and started setting up camp. We wanted to make sure the site was available first, and it was, so we started unpacking, and as we did, a park ranger came driving by, and I was getting ready to head up to the office to pay, and since he drove by, I asked him if I was able to just pay him or give him the envelope, and he said yeah, and he did it for us. He took it up to the office for us, so that was nice. Helped me out, saved me a trip going to the end of the campground. All right, and while I have the opportunity to show you this, since nobody's in here, this is what the showers and restroom looks like here at the campground. You have uh, your sinks there. These are for hand washing only, but on the outside of the building, they have sinks so you can wash dishes, silverware, whatever you need to do out there. And they have a trash can. And these are the showers here. This is the handicap accessible one. But as you can see, they have a hook for your clothes, a place to sit down, and the shower is in here. Not bad. Just a little plain Jane shower for a campground. It's really nice and clean in here too. And it, it was open late last night. So that was nice. But it's a nice clean area. There's my stuff here because I'm actually getting ready to hop into the shower. And use this bad boy right here. <laughs> so... If you ever consider staying at Shawnee State Park, you got an idea of how clean the restrooms are, hair, uh, the hand dryer here. They don't have paper towels, so, but there you go. Well, camping was a lot of fun. I've had a great time. There's Shawnee State Park in our Pennsylvania State Parks and Forest Passport. And I think this would be the perfect place to go ahead and put our Shawnee State Park sticker in. Just like that. Done.